What's up, fast and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another car video. Finally, um, I gotta be pretty quick with this intro because I need to rush over to Mercedes pretty much now because I don't wanna miss my appointment. I finally got an appointment for my service. If I even show you this right here, look at this, service A due, overdue by 151 days. Like, I was looking at the number and I was thinking, that's, that's, it, it seems quite mad, but when you think of it, we're at the end of July right now, it's, tw the, the, it's the 28th of July right now that I'm filming this video. Um, it's been over half a year that we've basically been at home, we've been on lockdown, and so it's just crazy thinking like all that time has passed, but anyway, like I said, I should have the service pack, I think I have the service pack, um, so hopefully I shouldn't have to be paying anything because obviously Mercedes is quite a luxury brand, it could get quite expensive. Um, if, in case anyone didn't know, this is a brand new car, I bought this 2019, um, so I'm the first owner on it as well, so obviously warranty and all that kind of stuff should be fine. I had to write down a couple things, a couple problems that I have been having with the car. It's not too bad, uh, okay, the first one is kind of actually really bad, but um, yeah, the three problems I've been mainly having with this car are the airbag sensors. Um, for some reason, the airbag sensors keep going on and off in the front. I don't know why I haven't had a crash or nothing. It's just, one day, it literally just started happening and you know so i'm gonna definitely have to tell them about that one the left passenger side window sometimes for some reason i don't know why but you know when you have electric windows if you like pull it up and hold it up for like a second it's supposed to fully raise the the window by itself like you're not supposed to hold the button down with that window for some reason you have to hold the button down sometimes it's happened on like two or three occasions where it stopped working for a couple of days and you have to like literally hold the window button up till the window goes up and then lastly but not least the stop start on this car is just abysmal like when i say this barely even works i don't even understand like it barely 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 ever even works yeah i'm gonna tell them the three problems that i've mainly been having with the car hopefully they don't find anything else wrong with the car so hopefully they can fix everything kind of all in one day especially the airbag that's probably going to end up being the biggest problem hopefully like i said it can be fixed all in one day and i don't have to like take a courtesy car or anything unless they want to give me an upgrade <coughs> Unless if they want to give me an upgrade, that's perfectly fine. I'm about to get rolling now, fast gang. Um, I don't want to be late for my appointment, so yeah, let's get rolling, fast gang. All right, guys. So we're here at the Mercedes. Um, this is the Chelsea aftermarket. That's Bay over there, right there. About to go in for her first service at East Service. Obviously, you got some whips over here. You got G63 over there. There's a C63 there. Uh, there's an S560 over here. And um, yeah, I've told them all the issues I've had with the car at the moment. They said everything should be cool. Um, they said they're just gonna put it through some checks. Obviously, because it's a it was a brand new car. Um, it's under warranty and everything. So they're saying I probably shouldn't have to pay anything. Um, but yeah, the guys are really lovely over here, which is actually quite surprising because I'm not gonna say which Mercedes it is, but. There's another Mercedes that I've been to and they're not as nice, I would say. I've been to BMW so many times. If you didn't know, my first or my second car was actually a BMW 1 Series. Um, so I've been to BMW like so much of the time and um, like BMWs, like they're really, really, really nice. Like they actually proper go out of their way for like all kinds of things like customer service. And like I'm actually pretty cool with some of the people there. Um, but so yeah, when I went to this other Mercedes store, like it was just a bit, the energy was just a bit, hmm. So I was like, oh, there's an M4 over there. The energy was just a bit hmm, so yeah it's good to see that over here at this particular mercedes they were really nice they helped me sort everything out quick in and out and um yeah they're even saying the car should be ready by today so hopefully yeah um they did say that if if anything i can just take the car home today and then order some parts and even by tomorrow it should be done so yeah quick fix everything should be okay and um yeah i'm about to show you this m4 real quick right now the m4 over there and they got hella whips in there, it's actually so crazy, but it looks hella busy, like, they even had to come valet my car from over here. Yeah, anyway, I'm about to go out, do some stuff, I've got a couple things to do, come back, collect the car, hopefully it's all done by today. And then, um, yeah, I'll just go into, like, I guess, a one-year review of how it's been having the car. Alright, Fast Gang, so I'm back, Orion is back, and she's all good, everything's sorted out with the service. I can't lie, it did take way longer than I expected, but obviously the times we're in, Rona and stuff, I guess... You know, they probably had less technicians and just less people in general. But I can't lie, Mercedes still did a fantastic job. Um, they were super, super, super nice. I can't actually believe how 
how much nicer they were than the other place I went to where it was almost disrespectful. They even gave me my key back with a little like <laughs> sanitizer type tissue thing. So yeah, everything's all cool. They washed it inside and out, it's all good. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna jump inside and then let you guys know about how it's been having the car for like just over a year now. Cool, so we're back inside with the lights again, as always, we all love the lights. And um, yeah, let's just talk about how it's been having the car for just over a year now. So, this car's an A200, um, I believe it's got like 162 brake horsepower, something along those lines. Um, it's definitely less than 200. And um, yeah, in general, other than the three things I mentioned that were um, the slight problems with the car, which have pretty much all been fixed now anyway, it, I guess it was just something to do with the electronics or whatever. Um, the car's been fine, like it's honestly been super fine. I live in London, if you don't know, I live in London, so especially the way London is going now, like everything's kind of turning into like a one-way road, it's super disgusting. If you've seen it and you know, like let me know down in the comments below. Um, I'm absolutely hating it, but um, 161 brake horsepower is honestly more than enough for London. Um, I pretty much drive this everywhere in eco mode. Um, unless I'm on the motorway then I'll go comfort and sometimes maybe sport 161 is more than enough which is something to be said because I still technically think the car's quite slow but again for London it's completely fine and yeah it's cool as well all the tech in it and everything if you don't know what kind of tech is in it make sure you click up there in the top right I think that's the top right or if not it'll be on that side but make sure you click up there and um watch my videos and my review and you can see like all the kind of tech that's inside it i'm loving using the self-parking feature i've been rinsing that out the voice commands as well are pretty helpful as well it's got the um mbux or mbex sorry i can't remember and yeah it's just comfortable like it's just really nice being in here it's really comfortable i still think mercedes did a brilliant job with the a-class like it's unbelievable like this interior is still better than a lot of the higher up cars in the Mercedes lineup to this day and it's, it's, it's honestly just ridiculous I really 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 do love it it's really beautiful everyone that comes in here you know just loves it people love taking pictures and snaps and all that kind of stuff but again the only problem I am having with this car is I can't lie I'm getting quite bored of it it's just not it's just not wild enough it's not fast enough I feel like um, Obviously, it was faster than my BMW, but there was this there was this slight edge the BMW had that this car doesn't have, which is kind of annoying. But you know, it's it's not a performance car, so obviously there's not much I can do about that. But I I don't know. I just feel like it's just not it's just not it. So that's that's my biggest issue with the car. Honestly, is just like I don't feel like it's fast enough. Again, like I said, for London, yeah, it's completely fine. But it's like when you do want to take the car out and like you know really be a petrol head, it's not. It's honestly not the one, you know, I've got a sunroof, I didn't have that in my last car and the fact that people just love the car, like people just love being inside the car, people are always like, oh I want to be in your car again and they miss it, so yeah it's really cool, it's electric seats and everything, heated seats, like it's pretty much fully loaded so I can't actually complain about this car too much. Small free things have now been sorted out of my service as far as I know anyway, so I'll just obviously keep an eye on that but other than that, having this car for a year, it's been it's been really good, man. It's been a really fun, nice, interesting experience. I'm really glad that I got to get into something brand new and something that's pretty much pushed the envelope of cars forward. Like I I'll, I'll keep st standing by this. Like this, they did a fantastic job with this car. It's actually ridiculous. Like I just want to like. <laughs> Just in case people haven't like seen this yet in person or anywhere at all, like look at this, like Merca just doing their thing right now. I think honestly right now they're killing the game. Um, I can't lie, BMW are kind of slacking, especially with their exterior designs, but that's another video for another day. Um, obviously by year two and year three, if anything changes, I'll definitely obviously make a video to let you guys know. But once again, shouts out to uh, Mercedes Benz, the aftermarket team at Chelsea. They were really nice, did a really great job service my car fixed everything that was wrong with it and yeah i'm i'm happy oh another thing i forgot to say is this year at least the last bit of this year should be really 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 good like i'm not even joking super good for car content so i'm really 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 excited i'm keeping my fingers crossed that nothing changes um i like i don't obviously i don't want to spoil it but yeah just stay tuned to the channel hopefully whatever's supposed to happen happens and that's just going to be super lit it's going to be a super lit day and yeah fingers crossed for that um if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe if you're already 
subscribe to the channel then obviously make sure you're liking commenting and sharing the videos um click up there to check out um some of my gaming videos i've been doing a lot of gaming ever since uh lockdown started um because obviously there wasn't that much to do so yeah up there if you're into apex legends go up there kingdom hearts as well go up there and um yeah drop some comments down below let me know what you think of the new a class let me know what you think of mercedes if you have one of these cars or you've been around some of these cars with this car uh, let me know what you think of it as well or if you own a merc let me know how you, how your experience has been with the service and how your experience has been over time owning your uh, merc and um yeah i think that's it for the video guys i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one peace